to have internet connection. Is that not correct? Yes. I remember I told you guys to have internet connection on your computer. Um, so make sure you have internet connection now. Huh? Okay, now we're going to implement the WDS, sorry, the WSUS, implementing Windows Update Management System. So um, in this lab, we're going to implement the server role, configure update settings, and approve and deploy updates by using WSUS. So the first thing we're going to do is to install the role of the WDS uh, update services. So can we go to the dashboard, scroll up, then we'll click on add roles and what? Features. Features. We'll click on next. Next. Of course, it's server one we're using. Then, of course, we go to where? The Windows Update what? Services. Of course, these are the required features. So we we'll click on add. We we'll click next. We'll click next. Next. Now, it says we should install the WDS role with the WID database. And the WDS role should also be configured to see WSUS updates. So we'll click on database. It says the following could not be installed on the same server. Let me see. Which the database in This was a mistake. Okay, click next. It said the content should be stored on C drive WSUS updates. So can we go to our uh, explorer, go to the C drive. Do you have any folder called updates, uh, WSUS updates? No, right? So can we right click and create a new folder? Then we'll call it WSUS updates. Okay, so that becomes, so you copy that, you can copy that, then we go back to our installation, then we paste it there with the link, drive C, yeah, updates, so click next, of course, for best practice, if you're installing a remote server, click install. So a lot of features to go ahead and install. After the installation, the next step is to configure the WSUS to synchronize with an upstream. Now, in this case that we don't have a server, an upstream server, what I would do, we'll try to use um, the Windows Microsoft, we'll use Microsoft Online as our updates, as our upstream server. OK, guys. Now we have WSUS installed, and of course, the next part we need to do is to configure it. You can see the notification there. That configuration is required. Is that not correct? So that's it there. So we can launch it from here, or you can go to the notification bar there, and it says uh, launch post configuration installation what? Task. So it's going to pop up now. Now, from then, we're going to be setting up our upstream server. And um, I do have internet connected now on my system. The best is, the best is actually if you have a wireless uh, network to make it much better. So let's, let me just pause it now until it comes up. Okay. I said post-deployment configuration is complete. It, it actually take quite some time. It took quite some time. So now let's go to... The next part is to configure synchronization for upstream. Now go to Tools, then select Windows Server Update Services. Then there's an issue with the with the image. Add, get another copy from somebody. Add it. Again. Okay, we we'll just wait for the snap it to open. Okay, that's it there. So I want you to carefully watch what I'm doing now. This is, a, this, is a, this is our server system, server one, that we want to configure a synchronization for the updates, uh, 
the Windows um, Upstream Server 4. So let's click on Next. Of course, this is just like a documentation showing you how you can join the update um, improvement program on how Microsoft can provide um, improve, uh, suggestions and tips and other documentations on how you can successfully use this um, particular application. So you can say, yes, I want to participate. Now, synchronize from where? Now, in, the, in our lab, it says we should synchronize from another server. Is that not correct? Mm -hmm. So if I was having another server system, this is where I will come and type in the server name. Are we together? But this stays, this, in this case, we're synchronizing from Microsoft because this is only the server we have. And of course, we can confirm we have internet access. So that server is also connected to Microsoft server. Okay. Meaning if I have a primary server, let's say this is a secondary WSUS. Then I'll put it, let's say I have a main server, I'll call it, let's say, SROV01. Uh, SROV, um, it's my main server system. Now, that server will not be my, my updates. So we update from him. From him, and he's also updating from Microsoft. Okay. One person must be getting it from Microsoft. But in this case, this is our server that gets it from Microsoft. So I'll click next. Now we're not using a proxy, is that not correct? So if I have a proxy server, I'll come here and put a proxy server. You know, most, most companies do have proxy servers, you know, just to bypass mm -hmm. the, the network and all that for security purposes. So I'm not using a proxy. Then you can click on start of uh, connecting. This is gonna really take a lot of time, but um, we're gonna uh, you can click start. Guys, cancel the installation and it will bring you up to the WSUS update services. So we can go to the property there. Can you go to server one? Then right click on the property. Right click on the server itself. You see updates. You see computers. You see downstream server. You see synchronization. Are, you, are, are we following? Are we together? So this is where you can uh, import updates. You can remove it from the console. You can search for updates. Then if you notice there, that's an op for the option page where you can actually see all the settings that we want to go into. So for example, we're asked to, um, up, uh, the last practical says we should configure the synchronization for the upstream. So from the update server there, where you have options, you come to update source and server proxy server. Now this is where you can now come in here and put the server information. But in this case, we used Microsoft. Then we are not having a proxy settings. Then of course, um, language pack, um, Yeah, it's fine. Now, um, for products, no, no, we're not going to products now. Uh, let's go to computers. If you go to computers, if you go to computers, okay, under options, go to under options, then go to computers. And it says the use group policy or registry on the computers. So use group policy or registry on the computers. Remember, if you use update services, new computers will automatically be placed on all assigned computers. So we'll be using group policy and, and registry settings, meaning all the, all, the, all the computers added to our domain will be updated through the group policy settings. So that's where you change the settings. Then the exercise two, is all going to set up the groups. I'm going to do that now. Um, so um, for synchronization, uh, like the, the practical says you should do a manual synchronization. You can see they all fade. Is that not correct? Mm -hmm. But you can come in here and come and uh, you can come in here and configure your option for synchronization, where you can come in here and set up how you want to update the system. So if you go to synchronization now, you can come in here. 
and you can say synchronize now. So the synchronization is taking place. That's it, they're running. So after it has synchronized, it will actually bring you some information. Right now, it's communicating to the to the server system. Are we following? But I'm going to leave it now. Since I have internet, I, I'm just going to leave it now so that one or two things can be downloaded. But before I synchronize in the norm, in the most um, environment, in the more environment, let me just stop the synchronization. Let me uh, show you something. What I can do? Let me just stop it. Uh, it's going to stop now. Yeah, it's going to stop. I can go to options. I will come in here to product <coughs> and classification. Yeah. Now, if you see there, by default, it will bring up Microsoft Office. You see all the Microsoft Office application, Windows 8, with one language pack. Can you see that? So what I can do, I can select all, all the particular product that I want. If I say all product, it will select all product. So let's say I want Office, but I only want Office 27 updates. Actually, we don't need Office updates. I want 8.1, but I don't want the language pack. So depending on which um, Windows um, operating system you want, you can select them here. Excuse me? Yeah, depending on the Windows you have. Then classification is where you come and set up if you want um, service pack, critical updates, definitions. Are we together? This way you come and select what you want to download. So let's say I just want um, Office Live. I want Microsoft Office, but Windows um, Office 2007 updates. Um, yeah, I don't need Windows 8.1 pack, so I can click OK. Now you can still scroll up, scroll down. Then you can still uh, set up your Microsoft uh, improvement program. You can start up the wizard. You can come here and automatic approve updates. So what I can do now, since I only selected one, let me go back to synchronize. So let me uh, start synchronization now. So I'll leave that to run. Then I'll stop. That is on exercise one. So I'll move to exercise two now.